Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a super easy and delicious beef barbacoa in an instant pot. In case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe, we're going to need four pounds of your choice of beef, two cups of beef broth, a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar, the juice of three limes, five to six chile chipotles in a double sauce, four bay leaves, one onion, five garlic cloves, and all of our spices that I will link in the description box. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right, so first we're going to start by making our adobo sauce. So we're going to blend our chile chipotles, along with our five garlic cloves, our lime juice, vinegar, one cup and a half of beef broth, and all of our spices. So now we're just going to blend until we have a smooth sauce. All right, so once we have that, now we are ready to get our meat ready. All right, so we're going to grab our meat and we're going to pat it dry. Make sure that it is at room temperature. We'll just pat it dry on both sides. And now we're going to season it with salt and black pepper. I have five teaspoons of salt and one tablespoon of black pepper. So we're going to be searing our meat, so just make sure that your meat is fully covered with our salt and black pepper. Ready, so just get it. Okay, and press it down. And we're just going to get the sides too. So just use your choice of meat. I'm using chuck roast. Okay, so once we have it ready, now we are ready to begin cooking. All right, so we're going to be using our instant pot. So we're going to press the saute setting. We're going to add about two tablespoons of oil and we're just going to wait for that to heat up. Okay, so once our instant pot is nice and hot, now we're going to place our meat. And we're going to let that sear for about three to four minutes on each side. All right, so after four minutes, we're going to flip our meat over. Okay, now we're going to sear that side for another four minutes. Okay, so after four minutes, we're going to add our adobo sauce. And to my blender cup, I'm also going to add the other half a cup of broth, just so we can get the remaining sauce. And now we're just going to add a little bit more water, just until it covers the meat. So that was about half a cup. So now we're just going to mix it. Okay, so it should look like that. And now we're going to add our onion. So just cut in fourths. Along with the four bay leaves. Okay, so now we're just going to close it. Set it on ceiling. So we're going to cancel. We're going to switch to meat and stew setting. And we're going to cook that for 70 minutes. Okay, so now we're just going to let that cook. Okay, so once the barbacoa is done, we're going to let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay guys, so at 15 minutes, we're going to release this leftover steam. All right, so now we're just going to open it. And we're going to shred our meat. All right, and let me tell you that it smells delicious. So we're just going to remove the bay leaves and the onion. And so I'm just going to remove my meat from my instant pot so like that it's easier for me to shred it. And let me tell you that it's super tender. Ooh, falls apart super easy. And of course you can make tacos or serve it with rice and just like that. Either way, let me tell you that it's delicious. Okay, so we're just going to shred it. And I'm just going to remove all of the fat just because we don't like that. A 
them look how tender the meat is okay guys the so ones our meat is nice and shredded now you can return it back into the instant pot or grab some of that consomme and just pour it all over the meat and we're going to be making tacos so I'm just going to keep it like that and I forgot to mention to make sure that you try it for salt for me it's perfect so we're just not going to add anything else but now we are ready to make our tacos Okay, guys, so now we're going to grab our tortillas. In the tortillas, you can just grab all of the fat and then just grill it like you normally will grill your tortillas. But now we're just going to grab our meat. And let me tell you that it is seriously super delicious. And like I said, you can make it into anything. Burritos, serve it with just rice or tacos. I'm going to grab my salsa verde. And this one has aguacate. So I'm grab a few going to grab my chile rojo, cebolla and cilantro, and some radishes. Oops. And just like that, we have our delicious tacos de barbacoa. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that making barbacoa is seriously super easy, especially that Instant Pot here made it so juicy, so tender. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mm. Mm. Seriously, the best. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nothing like it. So good. Mm. Alrighty guys, and there you have me at home. Make a delicious beef barbacoa in an instant pot. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. And if you didn't create this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.